Hello guys, in this video we'll learn and implement server-side rendering using Rust. So we'll build a very basic web application where we'll use templating or templates. So let's get started. First of all, we'll move to cargo terminal file where we'll add a few dependencies. Exam for web server, survey for serialization and deserialization with version latest features is derived, and Tokyo for async programming with version is latest and features as full. And then we need ask AMA, which is a template engine in Rust, and it will be used for rendering our HTML templates. And then we'll build our project. Meanwhile, we'll go to Project Explorer, add the model.rs, template.rs, and the in templates directory where we'll add the index.html. Here we'll register or add all of our templates. So index.html, if you want multiple pages, you can add all of those with them here. And in the template.rs will add the templates uh, or the code for rendering as well so let's first of all add our index.html now here today we'll be just building a very basic uh, web page which gets some data from the user and sends it to the uh, server so since our purpose today is to learn server-side rendering so i just paused this video and added this html uh, which is irrelevant kind of so uh, basically it's just a form with bunch of CSS and HTML if you need this you can just comment down below and I'll drop all the code so it takes the name from the user an email and age and the comments so mind you everything is required as you can see here and once a uh, user clicks the submit button we listen for that event and on that we create a JSON and send it to our server on port 3000 slash user as a post request and if we receive a okay response just raise an alert if an error just raise an alert that's pretty much all that we are doing now let's go ahead and add our model so here we'll add pub struct user and derive debug deserialize and debug and pub name is string pub email is string pub age is string and pub comments as string now we can use age as a numeric type as well but since from the html we are passing everything as a string so there is a high chance we get this as a string from here and we get some parsing issues so for now we'll just focus on rendering and not uh, these specifics so let's use it as string for now now let's go to our template.rs and complete this. So here first of all we'll add a struct for index template. And actually this is empty so let's keep it empty and here we'll add drive template and template will pass the path. So it's index.html and then a generic HTML template T and then we'll just say impl T into response for HTML template T where T is template and here we'll just implement the member which is into response so match cell 0 and render if it's ok html we'll just return an axiom response with html and into response if there is any error then we return the status code as ok and format uh, fail to render template so here we'll add into response this is literally all that we need so if we are successfully able to render our template we just return the HTML in the response if not we'll just return a internal server error with the format uh, a formatted message now let's go ahead and try to serve it so this is also pointing to our index.html which I just explained now let's go to main and here we will add the handlers so first of all we'll add for index into 
response uh, HTML template pass the index template similarly and the handler for uh, our add user or post user which gets a JSON of user JSON user and it returns some status code because we are waiting for status code right here so let's add this and let's print whatever we get on the request and status code as ok so here we'll add async tokyo man and add our router and listener so app router new route uh, slash route for get index uh, route for user post and this is add user so let listener tcp listener bin port 3000 and await unwrap print uh, listening on and here we'll say listener local address and unwrap and then we'll just serve listener app await unwrap so that's pretty much it for our server side rendering the web server the index html to render the template and this is to uh, post our data to serve our template and this is our index.html so now let's go ahead and test it just go ahead and open your terminal and here we'll just do cargo run fight so once our app is up and running now let's go to some browser and test it so there we go nice and beautiful our web page our first web page web application using rust now if we press submit as you can see it says filled empty field now let's name it as semicolon submit and there you go let's submit this as semicolon as well it will say provide a valid email address so we'll just provide let's say it semicolon.com and then uh, 26 hello world submit there you go form submitted successfully and there you can see whatever we submitted we can see on our terminal as well so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understand and learn something new if you do like the video share with your friends comment down below your thoughts and any of the use case you want to discuss i'll be happy to help and that's it catch you guys in the next video bye bye